Is there anything like a white light? Is a white lie not an excuse to shy away from the truth? To refuse to see that which is staring us right in the face. Is it okay? To do the wrong things for the right reason. Auntie Queen, please open the door. Don't know what to do. Are we judged based on our intent and motive, or pardoned for compromise in execution? What am I to do? She still hasn't opened it. She never opened this door since last night. She did it too. Even if he had to sleep in my room. Sure. I just need to have my bath and change my clothes. But now for this coin is safe. So you may say all this when I'm going to say she gave us. Is that what you're talking about? She dated Munachi for two whole years. Her mother never knew. Happy you. If her mama don't say Munachi did her life, who will come be now? I just need to open the door so I can have my bath. I don't think she will be this anytime soon. But I need to have my bath and change my clothes. I feel so uncomfortable already. Maybe you have your bath in my room. I'll give you something to wear. Auntie Koi, please! Oh, now she said she did this food. She decided. Koi, Sola, open this door now. White lie or not, does it not still end in disaster? Consola, open the door. Consola. Muna, small, small. No go break my mama door. You don't hook my see her yesterday. You know the kind of person where she be.
this one has saved so much. Problem here and there. I'm sure she has good reason. A good reason? Really? For hiding me away like a dirty rag? No, she calm down first now. Look, if it makes you feel any better, she didn't even tell her mom anything about having housemates. Okay, that's not a comparison or anything, but I think you should talk to her. I know Coin has some, she has an explanation. She can tell you something that you understand. Ella said it. Ella said it and I shut her down. Who is Ella? I fired her. You know what? I didn't go very far. Hmm? I just went down the road. Mommy, well, Auntie Coin's mom didn't stay very long. If she had stayed longer, she would have seen me. Oh, Mommy, I'm sorry. I just, I just stepped out for a moment. Mommy, please. What did she say? She said I'm coming home. Mm-hmm. Then what do you know? Mm. Babe, you had to. Two whole years. And you kept him a secret from your mom. I didn't know I would be like this, cheating. Are you sure? Because how else did you expect it to be? You serve Shekhar now. Eh? This guy has been planning a wedding in his head all this time. Meanwhile, he has no idea that your mom doesn't even know he exists. I tried to tell her. I really did, but I, I just couldn't get myself to tell her, GT. Why? You know, I don't get your relationship with her. She doesn't even know that you have housemates. Are you afraid of her? No. Yes. I don't even know. It's just, it's just so complicated. She's so hard to please. Ah, uh, how moms are hard to please, Koi? No. Mine is different. Growing up, she never approved of any of my choices. Wow. My friends. My taste and style, not even my career. Believe it or not, I don't want to be a surgeon like her. Are you serious? Yeah. But as usual, I just let her have her way. Koisola, this is your life. You need to stop ruling over for her, you know. Easier said than done. So is that why you kept us all from meeting her? <sighs> I've just decided to keep my choices to myself. My friends. My love life. Chitty. I love Nina Chi so much. So much. Then you should never prove to you. You rich kids definitely have different problems from us. My mom would approve of 
any man, as long as he has a bank account with over 100,000 naira in it. Going to forgive me, Tom. Yes, I know that he will forgive you. Good luck to you very much. Although this one was really low blow for you. How am I supposed to look at him? <sighs> really messed up. Just go and see him. Young man, I have no idea who you are. I only came here because I heard you were sick. But what you're doing is hanging with riffraffs. By the way, where is Ife? Meanwhile, when are we going to see your mom? Uh, she's not back in town yet. Okay. You need her, okay? You need to trust me. How many times have I told you to mind your own business? Excuse me? Now you're not saying that my fiance is lying to me. Well, she obviously lied about this and that's what I'm trying to explain. I don't care what you're trying to explain to me. Stop minding my business, okay? Muna. Look, I've had it up to here. Just. Get your things and leave. Muna, leave to where? Can you get out of my store? What are you doing here? Muna, please. I'm sorry. I am. I am. I'm really sorry. Let us assume that you're really sorry. What exactly are you sorry for? Are you sorry because you've been lying to me all this time? Or are you sorry? Because you don't really love me. <laughs> because several times I asked you what your mother said when you told her that I wanted to meet her. And several times you told me that she was looking forward to it. But she was busy. You stared me straight in the eye and you lied to me. You led me on knowing that you had no intention of letting that meeting happen. Oh God, Munachi, please just listen. Just listen to me. I am done listening to your lies. Get out. Please. I don't want to hear it. Get out of my house. My key. I want you to keep back. If I could collect my heart back right now, I would. But I can't. So 
I'll just have my key. Ruth. Yeah, I had an emergency at home this morning. That's why I couldn't come to church. Like I said, I'm fine. Please tell Brother Felix I don't be any need to send somebody to check on me. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. If I need to eat something, you haven't eaten anything all day. Eh? What type is this one now? I'm so sorry. I'm almost there. You will see me, I'm almost there, I'm just at the roundabout. Ah. Yes. All right. See you soon. Ah. What? Chiti, you know you just lied to that woman now, Abi. I beg you, I tell you, I tell person say I did on my way. Where? Don't be on my way, I did. Are you at the roundabout? I beg you to do. You to do. Ah. I'm like detector. What will you do? Shoo. Smally. What do you do now? Why do you sorry, what office? Her mom is coming to take her home because of the party you guys allowed her to attend. Who be the you guys? Uh, Which one be you guys? Uh, it's not people that are fighting for our rights, fighting for our freedom. Well, this is the freedom we fought for. I beg her that one take consign me now. No, I didn't ask you how you take consign me. Smally said she won't go party, she go. I don't want to be my fault. Answer, now me drive and go drive, I resemble bad driver. You might as well have. See, you be like say you want mad this afternoon. Why they find my job like that? they pepper you? Go carry and go from go garage, make them brush through for there. Because I too big, so they follow you drag. Do they hear me so? I don't get time for this nonsense. It's no nonsense, Chite. It's no nonsense. If you guys had listened to me and not encouraged us to go to the den of iniquity, all this won't be happening now. Den of iniquity, yes. you're going to say small go party. Yes. You still say you don't mind. This yes. calf where they tie, don't tie your brain. Why are you talking anything? Why are you talking anything? Because I don't understand why they call all this rubbish. The highway is not always the right way. The highway is not always the right way. You smile, the highway is not always the right way. You're too small. You don't let me. You're too small. I think I've lost him for good. I think I've lost him for good. Calm, just be calm. See, this is your cry. Go cause sickness. So, it go cause sickness. So, really, wouldn't you say anything? I have nothing to say. Unachi, 
I just told you Koinsola is on the verge of a breakdown and you have nothing to say. So what do you want me to do? <sighs> Nachi. Jiti, Jiti. Your friend is ashamed of me. She is not ashamed of you. Look, I know that you're angry and if I were in your shoes, I would be mad too. But Koinsola loves you very much. You're a wow that she would never do anything to hurt you. Well, she could have fooled me. Because what she did still hurts like hell. Listen, Muna, her mom is snobbish and tribalistic. Thank God you saw her the other day. And she didn't think her mom would allow her to marry you. That's why she didn't even accept the proposal at first. Why did she come back to me to ask me to propose again? Because she loves you now, Munachi. Isn't it obvious? Munachi, please, just have a conversation with her, please. I beg. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of you. I was just protecting you. No. no. You are handling me. We are a team. Well, at least I thought we were. Coin, mm. you looked me in the eye several times and you lied to me. I was scared. Okay, I was scared. Look, when we started dating, I didn't know where this would lead to. Right. I didn't... And when you knew where it was going to lead, what happened? You should have told me. I would have been upset, but at least I would have known. And then we would have dealt with the situation as a team, together. You're right. I should have told you. Nothing, nothing justifies lying, and I'm sorry. I just hope you could one day forgive me. Thank you for the best two years of my life. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Discuss what we're going to do about your mother. Okay? <laughs> Look, I understand your concerns regarding your mother, okay? But this is 21st century. I mean, who even cares what tribe that child was married to? My mom. Even if one in love? I don't think that would matter to her. Your mother loves you, doesn't she? Connie. <sighs> Look, my mom is very weird. She's very demanding and she has certain expectations. All parents do. <sighs> no, she's different. You've met her, haven't you? I have met her, but I can't judge her based off just one meeting. Look, Connie. I feel like you're judging this matter and coming to conclusions all by yourself. Give this woman a chance. I've given her chances since I was a little girl and she's failed them all. Okay. This one won't be any different. So, what's, what's the alternative? That we don't get married? 
Is that even an option for you? No. No. You know I want to marry you. Then let's pick a date to meet your mother. I am a very charming young man. And I'm very sure that your mother will make an exception for me. You need to trust me. Mona. Trust me. It's fine. Mrs. Cole has presented with three complaints in the last week. I'm beginning to think that woman is a hypochondriac. Oh, yeah, well, she probably is. And even if you discharge her, she'll just go to the next available That's hospital. How are you? I'm all right. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired. I need a break. Break? Our doctors even allowed to use that word. <laughs> Only the living can treat the sick. I'm going to the cinema tonight, I beg. You can't come and go and kill yourself, Abby. Yes, though, I cannot. Oh, come and kill myself and die away. <clears throat> uh, how is uh, Chief Jegba doing? Very well, Mai. He is adhering to post-op instructions and healing nicely. Good. Uh, how about that patient with the abscess? Oh, um, that's Dr. Lawson's patient, Ma. I believe she's in the best position to give you an update on that. So, Maybe, Ma but I'm asking you. I'm sorry, Ma. He has been discharged, abscess drained, and he's been given antibiotics to be reviewed in a week. Fantastic. Uh, I need some blood work on this patient, and um, as soon as you get the result, please let me know. Yes, Ma. Thank you. What is up with you and Chief? Oh, no. Boyfriend. That smile's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Hey. Have you, sp have you spoken with her? No. Why? Is she not at the hospital? Yes. So, are you going to talk to her or not? Yeah, I will. Okay then. I have to go now. Alright. Bye. <laughs> Mom, I'm not happy with General Meckham's post-op care. I'm... I'm sorry. Well, you should be. He's your patient. I'm sorry. I take full responsibility. I should have followed up on the nurses to make sure he was okay. I'm sorry, Ma. We're lucky this man is not suing us. He'll be well within his rights to do so. I'm so sorry, Ma. Mom, Munichi and I would like to come over to see you this weekend. Oh, um, talking about this weekend, um, Dr. Laoya's son is coming into the country. You remember him. Anyway, I'll be hosting his mom on Sunday, and we both would like for you to come and meet him. He'll be fun to be with. Hmm? Mom, did you hear anything I just said? Did you hear what I just said? Sunday, don't be late and look nice. What's this about? Can I at least buy you a drink? I'll pass. Okay. Ella, I am sorry for firing you. Never reacted, and I'm hoping that you can find a place in your heart to forgive me and come back to the bakery. Why? Things haven't been the same at the bakery since you left. No. Why are you apologizing now? What changed?
I was wrong. And I was right? No, no, I she, I was only watching out for you. And I appreciate it. You didn't before, but if you don't want to tell me what's changed, that's fine. So I'm forgiven? Yes, but I'm not going back to the bakery. Why? Because I got a new job. <laughs> this one is hot cake. No one that you something bug me about firing you. Actually, I didn't tell her about it. Why? Minachi, I'll we'll see you another time. Take care. Take care. Good luck with your new job. Hello? And what did she say? See? I told you that there was nothing to worry about. So when did we see her? She knows that we're down here, right? Mm-hmm. She does. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's been almost two hours now. She knows what she's doing. She's doing it on purpose. She's going to love the cake, right? Mm-hmm. It's not too much. It's too much, isn't it? I should have just made donuts or cookies, something smaller, nothing to elaborate. Uh, I think no. I'm overdoing it. Relax. The choice of desserts doesn't really matter right now. You're nervous and it's making me nervous. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. But can you blame me? How about me, my mother-in-law? What's this young man doing in my home? Oh, mommy. I'm sure he can speak for himself. Or is he too dumb to speak? <clears throat> Good evening, Ma. My name is Munachi Okeke. And I am in love with your daughter. And it would mean the world to me if I could make her my wife. Hmm. Young man, what do you do for a living? I am a baker and I'm also a pastry chef. Ah, so you must have attended La Cordon Bleu Culinary School in France. No, ma. Oh, maybe you went to Culinary International School in America, the one at Hyde Park. No, ma, I, I, I am self-taught. Oh, so you have no formal training for the career of your choice? No, no, I, I learned from mentors and I um, also took online classes as well. Huh. Young man, do, do you even have a degree? I do, I do. I, oh. Yes, I have an OND in business administration. Ordinary national. It's a, it's a diploma. Right. Young man, I don't want you to waste your time, more importantly, my time. 
you cannot marry my daughter. I didn't raise her to be an international, well-accredited doctor for her to turn around and become a wife to a mere donut maker. But I will say this, this isn't where your golden egg is, young man. I'll give you one thing though, you aimed quite high, which is far more than I can say about my own daughter. Consola, should I be disappointed? I'm not. Because you always seem to aim lower than the standard that you're worth. I don't blame you though. Your father's blood runs through your veins. See this young man out? And let this be the very last time that I hear of his name in this house. See you tomorrow. Bill. You say? So don't come again. Why have you? Um hello ladies. Hi, good how are you? I'm good. You will watch it in my room. Stand up. I'm sorry I haven't come since I was busy. How is your arm? Mm -mm. What happened to your hand? Nothing. Minor accident. Minor accident and you said nothing. Doesn't matter. I'm fine now. Are you sure? Mm. Let me see. What hand? Chita, I said it's fine. I'm okay. Oh. Sorry, oh. Um... I got you this. Thank you. So it's meant to cheer you up so you don't feel bad about making me hit you. Are you not going to come inside? What do you think? Of course I don't want to come inside. But I told you this would happen. I told you, right? And you just had to make it worse, didn't you? How? How? Why didn't you defend me? Defend you? Did you not just meet my mom? Did you think this would make a difference to her? I don't care. It would made a difference to me. Of course, unless you think that I am beneath you. Munachi, please. You're taking things too far, thinking things too deep. So now it's my fault, Abby. It's my fault. It's nobody's fault. You're just being insecure. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, your mother thinks that I'm dumb. Now you think that I'm being insecure. Oh, please, we like to think the rules change when we do something we know we shouldn't. Just because we think we can justify it. But the truth is, a lie is a lie, no matter the circumstances under which you told it.
and the worst kind of lie we could ever tell. is the kind we tell our own selves. What am I to do? 